When I first decided to use my 55-inch 4K TV as a monitor, I was excited about the possibilities. The stunning image quality, massive screen real estate, and impressive built-in speakers seemed like a dream setup, especially for tasks like video editing. However, my experience over a year revealed some serious drawbacks and consequences, ranging from my strain to eventual hardware failure, that have taught me why TVs aren't built to replace dedicated monitors. If you've ever considered using a TV as a monitor or are currently doing so, this article will walk you through my journey, the lessons I learned, and practical tips to avoid damaging your TV or your health. Why I tried using a TV as a monitor. The idea of using my 4K TV as a monitor stemmed from the benefits it seemed to offer, such as the massive screen real estate. The massive 55-inch screen provided me with ample space to multitask and made video editing more enjoyable. I could view timelines, footages, and controls all at once without feeling cramped, which is often the case with smaller monitors. Secondly, the 4K resolution with HDR support and lower response times, with very good refresh rate of up to 120Hz, which my TV offered, seemed just too good to be ignored for my daily productivity tasks. Finally, the speakers on my TV are just way too good over the built-in speakers of my monitor, which not only saved me the hassle of investing in external speakers, it also provided more space on my desk for other gadgets. At first glance, this setup seemed perfect, but things started to unravel quickly. So, what went wrong? The harsh realities of using a TV as a monitor. I strain and frequent headaches. Within days of using my TV as a monitor, I noticed a significant increase in eye strain. The high brightness and intense light levels of the TV, designed for viewing from a distance, were overwhelming for close-up use. I tried to reduce the brightness on my TV and tried setting it to eye saver mode, but those steps proved to be of very little help. Initially, I brushed off the fatigue and headaches, assuming they were unrelated. But over time, these symptoms became frequent, even during short work sessions. This discomfort was worsened when I worked late into the night or on text-heavy tasks like writing or coding. Also, while using your 55-inch TV as a monitor, you are bound to sit a little further away from your screen. This made it very hard for me to read the text. I constantly had to fiddle with the font size or try to zoom into text to make it more readable without straining my eyes. This made me realize that TVs are a bad choice if you work on a lot of text documents. You can very well try to adjust the display resolution in settings, but reducing the resolution defeats the purpose of using a 55-inch display in the first place. Poor ergonomics. The sheer size of the screen posed another challenge. TVs are meant to be mounted or placed farther away, and using one as a monitor on my desk made it impossible to maintain proper posture. The large size meant I was constantly moving my neck and eyes to see different parts of the screen, which led to physical discomfort over long sessions. Overheating and failure. The final nail in the coffin came after a year of use. During a tight deadline that required over 10-hour work sessions for multiple days, my TV began flickering randomly before shutting down entirely and refused to turn back on. A technician later confirmed that I might have destroyed the panel and the board inside due to overheating, likely caused by prolonged usage. The key lessons I learned. Here's what my experience taught me about using a TV as a monitor. Advantages of using a TV as a monitor. One, immersive display. The large size and vibrant colors of a 4K TV make it excellent for creative tasks like video editing or casual gaming. Two, cost efficiency. If you already own a TV, you can save money by using it for dual purposes. Three, better audio. TVs often come with superior built-in speakers compared to most monitors. Disadvantages of using a TV as a monitor. One, eye strain. The brightness and blue light levels are not optimized for close-up use, leading to fatigue and discomfort. Two, ergonomic challenges. The size and placement of TVs, make them less practical for proper posture and productivity. Three, lower pixel density. Text and fine details appear less sharp compared to a dedicated monitor. Four, input lag. Unless you enable specific settings like game mode, TVs can have significant input lag. Five, reduce longevity. Prolonged, high-intensity use can lead to overheating, burn-in in OLEDs, and backlight degradation.
why TVs aren't built for long hours of productivity work. Design differences. TVs are optimized for entertainment, focusing on vivid visuals and wide viewing angles for distant viewing. Monitors, by contrast, prioritize ergonomic design, sharpness at close range, and features tailored for productivity. Health concerns. Using a TV as a monitor exposes you to more blue light and higher brightness levels than is comfortable for long hours of close-up use. This increases the risk of eye strain, headaches, and fatigue as I experience firsthand. Longevity risks. Unlike monitors, TVs are not engineered for continuous use over extended hours. Prolonged operation can lead to overheating, flickering, and eventual hardware failure, as it did in my case. Input lag. TVs are not optimized for low latency, which can result in delayed input response, particularly in non-gaming modes. Pixel density. TVs have lower pixel density compared to monitors of the same resolution, leading to less sharp text and images when viewed up close. How to use a TV as a monitor without destroying it. If you must use a TV as a monitor, follow these tips to mitigate the downsides. 1. Adjust brightness and contrast. Reduce the brightness to a comfortable level to prevent eye strain. 2. Use eye comfort features. Enable blue light filters or apps like F. Lux to reduce the strain on your eyes. 3. Maintain proper distance. Sit at least 3 to 4 feet away from the screen to minimize discomfort caused by the large size and high brightness. 4. Enable game or PC mode. These modes optimize input lag and color settings for productivity tasks. 5. Avoid prolonged sessions. Limit continuous use to prevent overheating and wear on the TV. It is suggested to turn off your TV for 10 minutes at least after every two hours of continuous use. This will greatly reduce the chances of damaging your TV panel and the internals. Why monitors are the best for long hour productivity. After switching back to a dedicated monitor, the differences were night and day. One, ergonomics. Monitors are adjustable in height, tilt, and angle, enabling a healthier posture for long work hours. Two, Reduced eye strain, matte screens, anti-glare coatings, and lower brightness levels make monitors far gentler on the eyes. Three, sharper text. Monitors have higher pixel density, ensuring crisp text and clear visuals even at close range. Four, durability. Designed for continuous use, monitors can handle long hours without overheating or degrading. Five, warranty. Most monitors come with three-year warranty and some even offer five years replacement warranty. Even if you manage to destroy your monitor's panel, you can freely replace it for a new one during the warranty period. Conclusion, stop destroying your TV. Using a TV as a monitor may seem like an attractive option, but the long-term drawbacks outweigh the initial benefits. My year-long experiment led to severe eye strain, frequent headaches, and ultimately, a failed TV. While TVs can be useful for occasional tasks or as secondary screens, they are not built to replace dedicated monitors for long productivity sessions. Invest in a quality monitor tailored to your needs. Your eyes, health, and wallet will thank you in the long run. If you must use a TV, follow the tips above to protect both your device and your well-being. But remember, for serious work, there's no substitute for a proper monitor.